Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On, and this is another episode of Match Preview Battle. I'm here with Reese James and Craig Mitch. Hey! Hello. Uh, first up, as always, I will give you the results from last week's match preview battle, which was for the Chelsea game. Don't want to really have to mention any more about that. It was Emma against Craig. Unfortunately, Emma's not with us here today. Uh, Hung over or something, I would imagine. Uh, Emma got 13 points in the match preview battle against Chelsea. Craig Mitch, 15 points. Hey, well done. that's why she didn't show up. He, uh, he could have faced the music. He takes the three points for the win in that one. So that leaves, uh, leaves the league table as follows. In third place, still, Emma Story just on three points. Has she got any wins yet? No wins. No wins. In second place, Craig Mitch on eight points. And top, now only by two points, Ooh. is Reese. Top of the table, Craig. So this could be a decider almost. It will. I can tell you this as well. After this game, um, Emma has two in hand on you both, but I don't think it'll really matter because uh, <laughs> she's rubbish at it. Uh, okay, so uh, as always, we start with score prediction. So Craig Mitch, you're top of the league. I'm gonna come to you first. What will the score be for the game Tottenham Hotspur at home to Southampton? I'm going for 2-1 Spurs. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go I for I know two. he's nervous about this one. I'm going for 2-1 Spurs. Um, Hopefully we can hang on to the lead because we haven't done it in the last two games. Um, but yeah, we're two on Spurs. Who are your scorers? Um, Kane and Lamella. Yeah, Lamella I think is improving all the time. Yeah, all his, the time. His through really. balls, his final passes have just have really set our the, team. The weight, life. the weight on that pass for Kane's first goal yesterday. It's so difficult Perfect. to get the weight that right for such yeah. a short pass, but through mm. a gap, unbelievable. Yeah, he did a similar pass. Um, it wasn't really a through ball, but for Ericsson against Man City as well, perfectly oh, yeah. weighted yeah. pass. No, that I've never doubt what he can do. His final ball is absolutely magnificent. Yeah. Um, but it's it, what what I've always said is I want his decision making to come up from fifty fifty to about eighty percent, and then yeah. he'll be you know. Be right. He's getting there, he's getting there. He um, who's going to score for Southampton? I've gone with Tadic. Yeah. One of their best Tadic. players this season. I actually season. like Tadic as He's well. got to take good. pens, Tadic. Mm, not sure. This isn't a Southampton fan channel, so how would I know? Well, it's just it's a good bet if he does. Uh, okay, yeah. interesting. So let's go to Reese James and find out what he thinks the score prediction will be and who will score. I forgot that I'd, I'd cheated the system last time. I totally forgot about my tactic until this moment where you just say 10-0 and list all our players and then mm. you definitely get some points, whoever scores. Yeah. So I've gone with 2-1. Uh, and I've gone with Kane and Eriksen mm -hmm. and Mane to score for them. Uh, Sadio Mane got a hat-trick at the weekend. OK, fine. Let's see how that works out. My personal opinion is I think it'll be a big day at the lane. Everyone knows we get a win there. We finish above Woolwich. Uh, final home match of the season. Party atmosphere, 3-0 Spurs. That's my prediction. Not that it matters because I'm not in the competitive element of this. OK, now let's uh, find out what your starting lineups will be. Uh, we're filming this on Tuesday. We don't know who's suspended. We don't know about all the vials injury, so it's a little bit of, you know, well, let's face it, it's a game, so they have yeah. to work it out. So, um, Reese James. Yes, it's finally interesting again, because it was, <laughs> we, we figured out the starting 11, and we were just getting mm -hmm. 11 points guaranteed well, each no, week. not last week, actually, because Ali didn't play. Yeah. And I worked that out, and yeah. Emma didn't. Just thought I'd put it out there. Um, Larice Walker, Jan, Vimmer, Rose, mm -hmm. is what I've gone for. Toby injured, you think? Do you think that yeah. he's out for the season? Um, I, I didn't watch it on TV, so was it more of an ankle or a knee? What, what was it? I, don't, I can't remember, but he he didn't look good. Toby never goes down, and yeah, not only did he, he go down, but he put his arm up, which proper players, back in the day, if you put your arm up, that meant you were properly injured, like needed to be stretched yeah, off. Now, looked, now a lot of the foreign players do it for anything, but Toby is not one of them, so that was a worry for me, yeah. Personally, I don't mind foreigners, Barnaby. Uh, then in the middle, you've got Dyer. Uh, somehow able to play yeah. despite deserving four or five yellows uh, and Ryan Mason mm -hmm. so I hope you can get into his finishing boots on this time yeah. uh, Lamella Eriksson Son and Kane yeah. is what I've see that for. still sounds like a strong team to me Craig Mitch what are you going for? Lloris in goal mm -hmm. Carl Walker right back mm -hmm. but I've gone for Vimmer on the right side you said the Tongan do we get extra points for this? no no not positioning no No. no. okay well I think Vimmer's going to start on the right yeah so do I just wrote it I just oh, wrote okay the Tongan on the left side of the centre half and uh, Danny Rose left back Mason and Dyer holding midfield Son Eriksson Lamella so the same the same team and basically in case, the same the same, same I just thought I'd read team. It there's I saw, nothing you, to you play know, for but Craig's been going Craig's been saying you know how worried he is about it I still think that's a strong team it's, no it's strong it's strong. strong it's strong it's just a Dembele stat that's no, worrying me of course me. of course but also I, it was great I know a lot of people say he wasn't having a great game but I thought Sonny's finish just showed uh, that he's got I think next season he'll have a great season I yeah really like I uh, yeah I do it's, it's a really good compare it to Lamella's first season 
Yeah, oh it's god, a really exactly. good first season. Like, like it's, yeah, yeah. He's and not also, up to scratch yet. He was but... involved in a lot of that, some of that incredible one and two touch stuff that we were playing in yeah. that first half. It's, yeah, you know, some of his layoffs were really nice as well. Uh, memories, Reese, I'll come to you first. What do you memory uh, remember about Southampton matches? December, we beat them two 0 It was a classy performance. Yeah. Harry Kane scored that absolutely beautiful goal. Yeah, uh, where he sort of took everyone on with the little topo ground. Was it Van Dyke or something? It was Virgil um, Van Dyke, and uh, he made him look really bad. That's actually pretty much the only time Van Dyke's made an error all season. Yeah, Apparently yeah, been he brilliant. has been great, and, uh, and then he just slotted it home. It was very nice. Deli Ali also got a goal. And um, what's interesting about that game is that game took us up to fourth. Mm. It the first time we got into the top four mm. is there a, this I mean, season. It's worth talking about that a bit. Is it, you know, should we be, isn't it important that we remember how basically all season up to then and before the season we were like, we want to get fourth. Yeah. And now we're fighting for second and, you know, it feels, just everything feels so different. We're so much better than we thought we were, not just by fluke either. The, the talent is so there that now our expectancy levels have gone up that far, haven't they? Yeah, we, yeah. Got, we got to also remember that like this this whole title challenging Spurs developed halfway through a season. Yeah. We got a whole season of this same squad and same mentality next year. Yeah. yeah. This didn't start until December. Will that add an extra layer of pressure? To the, uh, young, to the young boys? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think it'll add pressure. I, I, I just think it will increase our hunger. Yeah. I think we're really, with this disappointment, we can only get really hungry from it and yeah. really want to push on and do... And if you look at us for the last three seasons, I believe three seasons ago, we finished sixth. Mm -hmm. Then last season, it was fifth. Mm -hmm. This season, second. Yeah. The only way is up. If you follow... It's a the logical... Ascent, it, you know, it, 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 it's building, it's building, it's building. I mean, that's the only place we can go. So, All right. hopefully we win the league. I want to win the league. I'm more bothered about the Champions League next year. I think we'll win that. I'll tell yeah, you what, I was, thinking this, I was thinking this in the bath the other day on the toilet. Where, in the bathroom, let's just put it that way. Okay. I think about Spurs at the most inopportune times. So anyway, all, all that matters is this. I was thinking, if that Liverpool team of 2005 could win the Champions League, yeah. Try look at, look at those two teams yeah. and try telling me that the talent isn't there because I think it is. I'm not saying we will. I'm just saying dare to dream, boys. Dare to dream. Why not dream? Go uh, for it. Anyway, what memories do you have of Southampton games? Uh, I actually have the exact same memory. <laughs> I do. I do. It was a, short I've got a short term exactly. That's the way it is. Uh, Let me Deli tell you the memory I've got. got we it. beat them six two at the Dell years ago, late nineties, early noughties. Ronnie Rosenthal with a hat trick that he scored in about six minutes. Wow, great. There you go. And it was in the yellow umbro kit with the weird little flashy flash checks in the corner. Uh, probably a bit young for you guys, but uh, some of you will remember that. Absolutely magnificent. So, uh, Reese has got a stat for us based on Spurs. What is your stat, Reese? Oh yeah, I'm trying to remember it because I didn't write it down, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, <laughs> of the last really, 15... Really professional Pretty uh, sure filming this. it's of the last 15 Premier League title winners. Mm. Only three haven't been the team with the best goal difference. Wow. Yeah. So that's a bit depressing, isn't it? Yeah, it is a bit depressing, actually. Sorry. Um, interesting, though. I'll I, tell you what. I've got I, a stat. Okay, well, I just want to say one thing while I remember it. I remember Blackburn won the, the league in 1995. The year before that, they came really close, but Man United pipped them. So I'm hoping next season. What's your little stat? Of the four games we've lost this season, mm -hmm. three of them have come when Dembele hasn't played. Well, great. Let's and he won't be playing against Southampton, just so you know. Let's keep these negative stats I'm just, it's just, It's just a fact. Not okay. definitely. We're well, definitely not be playing against Southampton. Yeah. I mean, 99%. We're filming this on Tuesday. Nine. I think we're pretty sure that yeah, he'll probably, probably is. get, probably is. get um, suspended. Now, let's go on to the other results, where we get them to predict the other results of the top six around us. I know that sixth and fifth doesn't really matter to us anymore, but let's keep it going to give the same amount of points yeah. uh, as we have done before. So Craig Mitch, uh, the the team, uh, the results you have to predict are Norwich versus Man United, West Ham versus Swansea, Leicester versus Everton and Man City versus Woolwich. All right, uh, Norwich versus Manchester United. I've actually gone for 1-1. One, one. Okay. Norwich are at home, they're battling they're for their scrapping. lives. Yeah. They're really going to try and put in a performance. Arsenal were lucky against them, I thought. Very lucky. Weekends. I thought Nathan Redmond was was amazing and hopefully he can score a goal and put it right. Can I just say though, I've got a, no a lot of Norwich friends uh, yeah. who are Norwich fans and they call Nathan Redmond a match of the day player. Where basically, oh, if you're yeah. if you're uh, from a, if you sport another club and you only see Norwich on match of day, you think, oh, he's a really good player. But you watch him week in week out, and he's well. I watched him against Arsenal. I thought he was one of their best players. He didn't finish, but he had two good chances. Both took them. Do quite you like well. him enough to think is that someone that Spurs should look into buying? No, but I like him enough to say that if they get relegated, 
he will get a Premier League club again. Yeah. Which I don't think a lot of their players will. Okay. But I think he'll, the Premier League clubs will definitely the one come. one I like for Norwich is Robbie Brady. But okay, anyway, let's um, go for it. I mean, no, no, maybe I'm saying it's just because he follows me on Twitter. Anyway, um, <laughs> West Ham versus Swansea. Uh, I've gone for 2 0 West Ham. Yeah. I mean, they're can just, they they're still make top four? I think they can. No. I think they can. They, I think they can mathematically, they can, but they won't. Okay. 2 uh, 0. Um, Leicester versus Everton I've gone for 3-0 they're going to blow them out the wall Everton are just awful and right. they they're going to want to do it in front of their fans I think just... they'll be hung over yeah. I don't think so I really think they're just going to put it to bed to put them to the sword and okay. 3-0 to Leicester and uh, Man City and Arsenal now a part of me a part of me which I'm getting rid of wants to say that Arsenal's going to win this game because they've won their big games this season they played crap against small teams but I'm going for a 1-1 all right, well, Only because it's at the Etihad. All right, and uh, let's go for your other results. Yeah, drop my card though. Nice one. Nice. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> cool. That was casual. Right. Other results. Leicester, mm. two one against Everton. Okay. Uh, I I also think they'll be hung over and you know they'll be a bit more relaxed at the back and stuff but there'll be such a party atmosphere in there I think yeah. that'll carry them through I think they'll get the three points anyway and we'll all go ah oh, there we go hung over six days later. Oh mate they're gonna be partying non-stop. Okay. Yeah, you don't yeah, and you know what happens you at drink, a Jamie. So you you know it. what happens at a Jamie Vardy party. It's yeah, exactly. Yeah. Vardy party only stops when the whistle blows. <laughs> Racism and vandalism. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> um, Man City two, Arsenal two. Okay. Uh, I've also gone for Norwich Man U one all. Mm-hmm. I think that's a good prediction. Okay. Uh, and I've gone West Ham to beat Swansea three 0 Okay. I think they're going to they're going to smell blood and they're going to be going for it. Okay, and how does that affect the league table at the end of this weekend? Then Craig Mitch. Um, so we'll kick it off with the bottom yeah. out of the six. Manchester United on sixty one points Down in six sixth place, place. Okay. after their draw. West Ham on sixty two points. Manchester City on sixty five points in fourth. Arsenal sixty eight. Spurs seventy three. And uh, Leicester on a whopping. 80 points. So that, to you, would have us crowned second place, which I believe is a crowning these days. Can you, can you crown days? second? <laughs> no, but, but well, Arsenal lift a crown for the fourth place that they get. That's true, we're not Arsenal. Okay, sixth place. Exactly the same for me. Do you want me to say it again? Uh, is it the same <laughs> points, yeah? It is the same so points. So 61, Man U, 61, West Ham, 62, Man City, 65, 65 Arsenal, 68, Spurs, 73, our highest ever, and Leicester on 80. It's our highest ever, period. Yeah. Yeah, with oh, Bear in mind, times. can I just say, you know, Everton finished fifth with 70 like four years ago, or something like that. Different seasons, different yeah. seasons. Good point. Good. All it, well all it means, seasons, all it means is points. the smaller teams got better. It just yeah. shows how amazing the league is. How, how it's only going to get tighter with the money coming in changes. as well. Money coming in tighter. Anyway, guys, let's know what you thought of that match preview battle. Have they got their predictions right? What team would you pick? What are the scores going to be? Put it all in the comments box. We love reading it. Drop the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Hello and welcome to Spurverse on what is quite a sad atmosphere, potentially. Yeah. I'm here with Craig Mitch, as usual. 